Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Shaw and this channel is all about the Narcissistic Personality Disorder and ways to recover from narcissistic abuse. This video is about the mind games that a narcissist will play. Um, people on the Narcissist Personality Disorder spectrum have no empathy, so they do not care for the damage they cause to those around them. They have no guilt or remorse. Most narcissistic people are extremely good at treating you better than anyone ever has by mirroring all your likes and all your dislikes and then learning all your insecurities and weaknesses to use them against you to treat you worse than anyone ever has. As narcissists are extremely good at mirroring others' personality traits, we often don't know what we're getting into until we're in too deep. As we slowly accept behaviour as normal over time and adjust ourselves to suit them, that we should have never accepted. Yet because they can play so nice, it's extremely difficult to spot what you don't know while you're in that moment. So this video is to help you if you're in a relationship or whether that's a parent, a partner, a sibling, to try and work out whether you are dealing with a narcissistic person. If you're thinking about dating again or if you're meeting new people again or if you've got out of the relationship to understand more of what was actually happening. The games a narcissist will play with you. Number one, they want to know everything about you. When you first meet them, they don't talk about themselves. They will ask all about you. They want to know everything about you, unless they've managed to suss you out over social media and asking your friends, they'll sit and listen to you for hours on end. This makes you feel special and important to them, so then it builds up that trust. They do this so that they can like all your likes, dislike all your dislikes, to make you think you've met someone who truly understands you. Find out about all your insecurities and your weaknesses so that later on they can use them against you. How to notice this? Keep a strong eye contact at all times when they are asking you questions. Those who counter your gaze pause for a two-way conversation and speak about themselves when asked don't want to hide anything. Those who bombard you with questions and divert any that you ask them or seem to exaggerate their answers, watch their eye movements, see if you feel comfortable with them or not. Your instincts will try and tell you something even if you're unsure of what it is they're trying to tell you. Listen to those instincts. How to disarm. Ask them questions about themselves and try to strike up that two-way conversation. Number two, they want everyone to know that they are better than others. Most narcissistic people want to show off about any skill they have, any knowledge they know, any achievements they've made. They feel superior to all others. They might lie about homes or cars they own. They might bombard you with information that you know nothing about so you don't know if they are right or wrong. How to notice a narcissist doesn't like being questioned. So when you ask things like, wow, where did you get the money from to buy that? Or how do you know that information? You'll see them either change the subject, get angry or their lies will escalate. How to disarm Slow down the conversation and again try to make it a two-way conversation. Ask questions, any words they use that you don't understand, ask them the meaning of it. Manipulators hate being interrupted and they hate having to explain themselves, especially if they don't have the answer. Number three, they overwhelm you with negativity. They want you to be fearful and sad. They do this to further their control over you, 
as they find it easier to control those who are scared or upset. They do this by the manipulation methods, for example, of silent treatments, threats, gaslighting, anger, triangulation. They might speak over you. They might speak in an extremely loud voice or show bad manners. How to notice this? This one is quite tricky as you're usually in the relationship deeper than you should be and like to give them the benefit of the doubt. When someone becomes overly aggressive or negative or twists things onto you when they're getting an opinion across, try to remain positive and add jokes in there if you can. How to disarm? When dealing with this, stay calm and unaffected. Ignore, if at all possible. Write down afterwards and focus on your reality. Focus on the positives. Take control back of your mind, your thoughts and your feelings. Number four, they feed on your insecurities. Whatever your insecurities are, a narcissistic person will smell them from miles away. They learn every insecurity and every weakness you have. Then they rip them wide open and watch you bleed out. They will use them in conversations. They will prod, they will poke, they will provoke you and poke away at you and each of your insecurities. If one person's fear is being cheated on, they'll flirt with others right in front of you. If you're not insecure about that and you wouldn't put up with that, they would not do that to you. If one person's fear is being isolated, they will go all out to isolate you. If you would never accept that behaviour from someone or don't fear that sort of thing, they wouldn't risk doing it to you. If your insecurities are your own qualities of being a parent, they will take you down. If you're happy with your parenting skills, they will not use this. If it's your weight, they'll use that and so on. They will use whatever an individual's insecurities are against that person first. And then once they've broken that one down and brought them down, they will try to make you feel insecure about anything and everything, slowly taking you down, slowly breaking down your boundaries. How to notice? They almost look like they get a real kick out of your insecurities. Most people, um, most decent people, will try to make you feel better. A manipulator will make you feel worse. They may even bring it up um, using triangulation by bringing it up in front of others without it being directly about you so others will not know what's going on yet you will know see their reactions um, change and a change in their energy your instincts will most likely be telling you something even if you're not sure what it is they almost look pleased Good people wouldn't be pleased about your insecurities. They'd want to help you feel better within yourself. How to disarm. Work on you. Control your own thoughts. Write down your insecurities and then write the truth as it's usually a thought that someone else has put in your mind or a fear of judgment. Learn to listen to your insecure... Um, learn to listen to your instincts, sorry. Um... Even if you're not sure what they're telling you at the present moment, face those insecurities head on, face the pain and deal with them, eliminating all your personal insecurities from your mind, no matter how hard this is. And then no one will be able to use them against you anymore because you'll no longer have them. We don't need insecurities. Insecurities are what other people have planted there. Number five, they're liked innocent. All narcissistic people will play the hero or the victim, yet they will never play the villain. 
a narcissist is a con artist um, who are extremely good at manipulation. They will convince others by deflecting, gaslighting and blame shifting that they are the innocent party, even when you have evidence to prove otherwise. How to notice, they may act as if they appear guilty, yet they will tell you why it wasn't their fault or they will find fault in you for it. They might act as if they are taking responsibility to meet, um, but again, when they act that they are taking responsibility, this is just to meet their own needs. Um, they will not learn from it and they will do it time and time again. They will play the victim so others tell them it was never their fault. They will use reasoning so that you excuse their behaviour and basically so they can escape accountability. How to disarm? Write down the facts of your own reality. Listen to your instincts again, become a private detective and investigate the truth if need be without letting the narcissist know. Don't show evidence alone as some can be extreme in their reactions. Number six, they will twist any and all information. They will twist words, they will twist facts, they will twist reality, they will twist evidence, they will create stories, they will triangulate, they will provoke, they will play the victim and blame others. If you're not careful, they will manipulate you into believing their stories. They will use gaslighting with words like, that didn't happen, or I never said that, or you're crazy. They will use triangulation, for example, um, my friend's partner was allowed to do it, or my ex didn't mind, to again make you doubt yourself and feel guilty for questioning them about something. How to notice this? Look for credibility in the stories that they're telling you. If your instincts again are telling you that something isn't right, please listen to them. How to disarm? Again, it's all about writing it down, keeping your reality in check, gathering evidence um, of triangulation. Well, for one example, if triangulation is being used and you think it's being used, try and get the narcissist and the other person together and then ask the other person about it in front of the narcissist. This is an extremely good way to find out who's telling the truth because the third party will usually know nothing about it and you'll you can stand and observe the observe the narcissist reactions. Um, number seven, they will put pressure on you. Manipulators will do their best to drive you to complete insanity, to drive you crazy, to confuse you, to give you brain frog, frog, to give you brain fog to wear you down so that you give in. They prey on all your emotions, provoke fear and then give you relief. They will put so much into your mind. Um, they will provoke you until you can no longer contain it and you explode. And then they will blame it all on you um, for your reactions. How to notice... After an emotional outburst from yourself, when you are at your weakest, they will not support you. Um, so it's often even harder for you to make logical choices. Uh, most often they will then ask you to do something for them or give them something as you're more likely to agree as you feel like you're to blame for your reactions. Then they will reinforce this by playing nice, by lifting you back up to reinforce and control your mind that it was your fault. Um, and they do this by slowly breaking down your boundaries and that putting you down and then lifting you back up. How to disarm? 
right down again, write down what they do to trigger an emotional reaction. If you react to them, write down what they ask for next or what they said next. Learn not to react to them. Learn that's the power game they are playing and the best thing you can do is not react. Learn to see what insecurities that they have used against you and then work on find work on yourself and finding ways to heal those insecurities so that they can no longer trigger them taking back control of your thoughts and your mind and your life narcissists don't like those they cannot manipulate or take control of They don't like those that they cannot control their minds. So strengthening your mindset is key. Controlling your emotions in front of them. Finding ways to release them if needed in a healthy way, but never ever to the narcissist or in front of the narcissist. Until you do have control over them, you must always retreat away from the narcissist Rethink the whole situation in its entirety and only, sorry, rethink the situation in its entirety and only respond if you really need to do so. Uh, Keep taking those baby steps each and every day to get your life back on track and take on new adventures without negativity without toxicness and without narcissistic people. Keep taking those baby steps. Rome wasn't built in a day, but there were lame bricks every day. You you can do this. You've just got to keep focusing on you, creating new dreams for yourself, creating new hobbies for yourself and surrounding yourself with positive, uplifting people. You can and you will recover from this. Please add in the comments anything that you think will help other people recover or help other people spot a narcissistic person. Uh, Sorry, this has been quite a long one. So if you've stayed till the end, thank you very much for listening. Bye.